Hey, good evening to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So, uh, you can see the thumbnail also. We have discussed already that at 9 p.m. today, we'll be coming up with a very important session on important government schemes. So, I'll be actually asking questions based on important government schemes. You have to answer it in the live chat. Please remember, there have been questions this year, last year also. Uh, based on government schemes, government ministry, like last year they had asked questions on ministry, okay? Which is the ministry pe question puja tha. Government schemes pe they can ask a question even this time also in 2023. So you should be aware of it. Yes, good evening. Am I audible guys? If I'm audible? Okay, yes. So let's start with uh, the first question of the day which is in front of you and it says Jal Dut app that has been launched by Minister of States for Rural Development and Minister of Steel Fagan Singh Kulasate is developed by Rural Development Ministry and which ministry? Jal Dut app is developed by two, has been developed by two ministry. The first is Rural Development and what is the another ministry? I'm waiting for your answers. Please write in the live chat what is the right answer to this question. Yes, what is the right answer guys? Everyone, please press the like button also. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, what is the right answer? People are saying A, some are saying B, some are saying D. Uh, yes, I have got the right answer from Nanshi, Ashwini, Yadav. Uh, yes, so two people have answered me. Rakhi Singh, you all have answered me correctly. So it is a D, Ministry of Panchayati Raj is the right answer. Yes, Riya Varma, Ashmita Singh, Rati Gehlot, you all are right. Uh, you can see it. This is from the PIB, that is Press Information Bureau which is uh, the government's official website. Jaldut app launched to enable monitoring of groundwater tables. You can ask what is related to It is related with what? So basically this app is related with monitoring of groundwater tables. Okay? Uh, you can say, uh, yes, uh, this is the name of the minister. Actually you launched it. Yes, Jaldut app has been developed by Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj. Yes, so this is the image. You can see it here. Uh, okay, so just have an idea about this. Ke Panchayati Raj Mantrale or Rural Development Ministry ne mil kar ye jaldut app start kiya. Okay, yes. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The question number two, which says in September 2022, Dr. Mansuk Mandavia has inaugurated Arogya Manthan 2022 to celebrate implementation of ABPMJ that was launched in which year? Your options are 2019, 2018, 2017, 2020. Okay, uh, first thing, I hope you are aware, this is a question of last year CLAT. Last year in CLAT 2021, this question was asked, who is the health minister of India? So the answer was Mr. Uh, Dr. Mansukh Mandavia. So he is the minister of health and family welfare, right? And family welfare. Yes. And uh, yes, people are saying, majority are saying 2018. Okay, yes, the right answer is B, 2018 is the right answer. Can anyone tell me what is the full form of A, B, P, M, J, A, Y? What is the meaning of it? I have uh, made it as a, a short form. Can you please write what is the full form, full form of it? And what is the idea about this scheme? Means this scheme is related with what? What is the you can say, benefit of this scheme? Can anyone tell me? Yes, majority of you have answered B, uh, which you all are right actually. Anna, I couldn't take everyone's name. But I'm waiting for your answers. What is the full form of A, B, P, M, J, A, I? So it is Ayushman Bharat. Ayushman Bharat. Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. You must have heard about it. Yes. So that is what is being talked about, Ayushman Bharat scheme. It is a health insurance scheme. I hope you must be aware of it. Please go and read about it in detail. It's a health insurance scheme. Yes. Okay. Launched by PM Modi in 2018 September. Yes. So it's almost 14 years from now. Yes. For, sorry. Four years from now. Yes. 23rd September 2018. So almost four years back. This Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana or what we call it as Ayushman Bharat, Bharat scheme was launched. Yes, kuch logo ne likha hai Aditi Asmita, you all are right. You, you should be knowing it. Okay, go and find out, read about in detail about Ayushman Bharat scheme. Isko ja ke aap thoda sa apne se bhi padhi, isme kya kya, what are the facilities and the benefits 
that would be provided under Ayushman Bharat Yojana. No need to go very much in detail, but yes, a basic idea of Ayushman Bharat Yojana is very, very important for you. Okay, yes. Let's move on to the next one, the question number three. And the question number three says, in Jammu and Kashmir, Lieutenant Governor of Jammu Kashmir Union Territory, Mr. Manoj Sinha inaugurated which sub-scheme under Avsar scheme of Airport Authority of India at Srinagar International Airport? Your options are Future Marketplace, Umid Marketplace, Government Marketplace, Air Traffic Marketplace. What is the right answer to this question? Guys, everyone, please press the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel also, everyone. Yes. What is the right answer to this question? Question number three. Yes, Ashi is saying, Ash, uh, Ashi Sharma, Hari, uh, uh, then Alephia, Aditi, you all are right. The right answer is Umid Marketplace is uh, the right answer to this question. Uh, Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sina inaugurates Umid Marketplace under Avsar Scheme of Airport Authority of India. So, there is a scheme of Airport Authority of India called as Avsar. Under this scheme, this Umid Marketplace was launched. Here you can see this is uh, Lieutenant Governor of your, uh, Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. So, the right answer is B is the right answer to this question. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The question number four which says, which of the following is a scheme related to a girl child? Your options are Pradhan Mantri Matru Bandra Yojana, Sukanya Smrit Samridhi Yojana, Sabla Scheme, One Stop Center Scheme. What is the right answer? I am talking about girl child. Scheme related with girl child. What is the right answer? Everyone please press the like button. Yes. What is the right answer? Waiting for your answers. Yes. Ashish Sharma, Ashish Singh. Ashish Singh, Hariyom. Can anyone tell me that uh, what is the benefit of Sukanya Samridhi Yojana? This Yojana is related with what? What are the benefits that a girl would get under Sukanya Samridhi Yojana? Yes. Hanslata, Sri, Katyani, Asmita, Umair, you all are right. So B is the right answer to this question. So Sukanya Samridhi Yojana can be translated as a girl child prosperity account. Basically, it's a opening of a girl child's bank account. And uh, to you can say, uh, it's a sort of a savings scheme uh, which will be matured after uh, you can say uh, after a certain age and she will get the benefit of uh, you can say in education in marriage etc and all that is what the idea is so b is the right answer yes yes good good keshav you all are right so b is the right answer to this question it is a part of beti pachao uh, beti bachao beti padao scheme so you should be knowing about it okay now the next one is question number five which says name the nutrition scheme for pregnant and lactating women or pregnant and lactating mothers launched by pm modi in gujarat's vadodara your options are mukhya mantri sampoon ahar yojana mukhya mantri matru shakti yojana mukhya mantri swasthya yojana mukhya mantri santulit ahar yojana see if you have, if your Hindi is strong enough, then you can answer many of the questions related with government schemes because many government schemes are based on Hindi names. Agar aapki Hindi achi hai, to aap bhoat hat tak naam ko translate karke pahunch jaunge. So by translating the Matru Shakti Yojana, Matru Shakti Yojana is related with mother, right? Mukhe Matri means chief minister, right? So uh, Matru Shakti Yojana B is the right answer to this question. It is related with mother, of course. So, B is the right answer to this question. Yes. Uh, then let's move on to the next one, the question number six, which says, which state government has launched Indra Gandhi Shahri Rozgar Guarantee Yojana? And these are options, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Jharkhand, Punjab. What is the right answer to this question? Okay, again here, I'll tell you to apply some logic and then answer to the question. Everyone, please press the like button. Yes, everyone, guys. Indra Gandhi Shahri Rozgar Guarantee Yojana. Now, you should be thinking, see, the name is named after Indra Gandhi. It must be, you can apply the logic that it is most likely that a Congress ruled state will be coming up with this Yojana. Because the name Indra Gandhi is associated with Congress. So, you could have eliminated option C and D at least, right? That is why I am telling you, uh, I am not, I'm not saying 100% this idea will work. But yes, in many cases it works. So basically the right, uh, the right answer is B. Rajasthan is the right answer to this question. Yes, Rakhi Upasana, Shreya Singh, you all are right. Uh, yes, uh, Hariyom, right, correct. B is the right answer. You can see it here. Indra Gandhi Shahri Rozgar Guarantee Yojana is the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Mr. Ashok Gehlot. Okay, yes. 
Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number seven, which says, which of the following is our schemes for the benefit of senior citizens? Your options are Indira Gandhi National Old Age Pension Scheme, Padhan Mandri Vyavendra Yojana, National Program for Health Care of Elderly. What is the right answer? This is 100% everyone should be right. Because even if you do not know with the help of the option, you can reach to the conclusion. So in many cases, there are questions are designed in such a way that with the help of options, you can reach to the answer. Yes. See, it is talking about old age pension. It means it is talking about senior citizen. Yes. Here it is talking about elderly people. Yes. It means CNC, ANC should be the answer. In fact, Vaya Vendana Yojana is also an insurance scheme. I can say pension scheme for old people. Right. So all of the above is the right answer. Yes. Many people almost all have answered it. D is the right answer to this question. Everyone, please press the like button. Subscribe to our channel also. There's a subscribe button there. So everyone, yes. Now the next is question number eight, which says, what is the maximum age to provide a free and compulsory education under Article 45 of Indian Constitution? Your options are 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, 14 years. What is the right answer to this question? What is the right answer? Can anyone tell me what is the right answer? So Article 45, yes. Now you, can, you have to understand one thing. In fact, right to education is a fundamental right under Article 21A. What is it talks about? It talks about 6 to 14 years, yes? So apply the same logic, yes. It would be something, something similar. Yes, D is the right answer. Sita, Upasana, Sana, uh, whatever, Shreya. Whosoever has answered D, they all are right. Okay. So Article 45 actually talks about here, yes age of 14 years and provide for a provision for free and compulsory education for children here it is up to 14 years so d is the right answer to this question try to apply the logic think and then answer it even if you do not know uh, the next one is question number nine which is under pm shri yojana we recently launched why yes how many schools across the nation will be developed and upgraded with the modern infrastructure facility 20 000 14 500 10 000 21 000 what is the right answer, guys? Yes, I'm waiting for your answers. PM Shri Yojana has been recently launched. So you should be knowing it. Yes, the right answer is B. Hariyo, Mabad, Nanshi, uh, you all are right. Uh, 14,500 is the right answer to this question. Asmita saying, you all are right, Hariyo, Mabad, yes. Uh, cabinet approves PM Shri Yojana under which 14,500 schools will be upgraded. This is 7th September news, hardly I can say one month back. Right? So B is the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to the next one. The question number 10 which says, Pardhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, the national mission for financial inclusion has recently completed how many years of its successful implementation on 28th August? So, Pardhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, PM Jan Dhan Yojana. Yes, you must be aware of this. So, this Pardhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana has completed how many years recently? Yes. Yes, uh, the right answer is 8 years. D is the right answer to this question. Actually, uh, on 28th August, when PM Modi came to power in 2014, 28th August, in the same year he launched this Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana. So if you add 8, it will become 2022. Here it is. It was launched on 28th August 2014. Uh, just have an idea that what is its motto? So its motto is Mera Khata Bhagya Vidata is the right answer, is the motto of it. Take it. It's a financial inclusion scheme. The idea is to open more and more bank accounts. Take it. Yes. Uh, the next one is question number 11. Question number 11 says, Raktar, it is a centrally sponsored agricultural development scheme with a ratio of 60 to 40. What is, what is the first R denoted in Raftar? It means you should be knowing the full form of Raftar. So what is first R? Here R stands for what? Rashtriya, remunerative, rejuvenation, regular. What is the right answer to this question? Everyone, please press the like button. Fada fat, sab koi like button press kado. What is the right answer, guys? Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is B. Remunerative is the right answer. M many people are saying C. No, the right answer is yes, it is written here. Remunerative approach for agriculture and allied sector rejuvenation. That is what it says. 
ठीक है ना सो सेकेंड वाला आर का मतलब रेजोवेशन है वी आर आस्किंग अबाउट फर्स्ट आर सो इट से रेमोनरेटिव ठीक है सो दैट इज वॉट इट से राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके यस लेट्स मूव ऑन to the next one that is question number 12 which says which statement regarding pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana is incorrect isme se kaun sa statement please make sure i am asking about incorrect not correct statement pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana uh, se related which of the following option is incorrect it covers age of 18 to 50 years launch in 2015 this scheme also provides insurance cover up to 2 lakh The scheme provides numerous maturity benefits. What is the right answer? Waiting for your answers. Yes. Incorrect. I am asking. Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana. So Bima means in uh, Hindi as insurance. Okay. So when it is talking about insurance, you can apply the logic. You most likely insurance uh, option would be correct. Yes. So the right wrong answer is D. Okay. Yes, D is the wrong answer. Rakhi, yes, right. so d is the right uh, right answer means uh, i'm asking incorrect so d is the in, uh, incorrect statement okay otherwise a b c is fine yes shreya singh you all are right uh, yes pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana in the age group of 18 to 50 years okay a life cover of 2 lakh rupees for one period uh, one year etc and all you can go and read hai na uh the next is question number 30 which says what is the age limit for deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal yojana covered by ministry of rural development under a scheme intending to create income diversity in low income families your options are 15 to 35 years 18 to 30 years 18 to 40 years 15 to 45 years what is the right answer guys yes everyone please press the like button share this video subscribe to our channel yes everyone what is the right answer guys question number 30 yes Uh, the right answer to this question is a from 15 to 35 year deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal yojana okay so you can see it here i am showing from the official pib's document 6 january yes deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal yojana is demand driven placement linked skill training initiative of ministry of rural development kaushal yojana is generally related with skill development hai na these are the keywords hai na you should be knowing it because in exam they can ask that this scheme is related with what theek hai na it is under which ministry so answer should be knowing you should be knowing it's uh, talking about rural development ministry okay yes then it is between 15 to 35 years of age you should be knowing this that a is the right answer it is for 15 to 35 years of age okay yes okay the next one is question number 14 slightly long statement but you read it carefully and then answer it in partnership with which ministry ministry of food processing industry launched a program providing uh, uh, providing work capital assistance of 40000 for the pradhan mantri formalization of micro food processing industry scheme okay this is a, a scheme to promote food processing you understand the concept of food processing like for example if a potato goes into food processing industry it becomes chips right so that is the idea of food processing industry right so the right answer to this question is c ministry of rural development and ministry of food processing is doing this scheme so yes there is a separate ministry ministry of food processing along with ministry of rural development is implementing this scheme what pradhan mantri formalization of micro food processing scheme okay yes just have an idea about it see is the right answer to this question okay the next one is question number 15 which says to make cities towns and municipal areas begging free ministry of social justice and empowerment virendra kumar has launched a smile initiative what is the full form of smile and you have to tell me actually what is m stands for here theek okay. hai so basically this smile initiative is for especially for those who are bigger you can say for poor so beggars transgenders those who beg on the road side so for them there is a scheme that is called as a smile initiative so you have to tell me what does m stands for here yes uh, the right answer to this question is d marginalized is the right answer uh, hari om shivam nanshi aditi riya ayush sonal ajit khushi hansalata you all are right yes you can see it here a smile initiative uh, launched by department of social justice and empowerment this is the photo of it yes so just have an idea d is the right answer to this yes marginalized yes so marginalized means weaker section poor people ha huh? 
So the next one is uh, yes. Uh, the next is question number 16, which says, which of the following organization has launched a scheme to provide enhanced export credit risk insurance cover with an extent of 90% to small exporters? Your options are Exim Bank, HDFC Bank, Exporters, Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India, Small Industries Development Bank of India. That is said to be. What is the right answer to this question? Can anyone tell me? Yes, uh, the right answer is C, Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India has actually launched this scheme. See, here it is. I have told you many times, in many cases, if there is a word, which is an option and in the question, chances are that, that it would be most likely to be correct. So apply this, connect this dot and reach to the conclusion. So the right answer is a C, option C. Yes, Preacher, Prakhar, you all are right. Neeto Kumari, you all are right. Uh, let's move on to the next one uh, that is question number 17. So question number 17 says which of the following ministry has issued detailed guidelines for Mission Shakti uh, which came into effect from April 1st 2022. Now Mission Shakti uh, by reading this word you cannot reach to the conclusion that which Shakti it is related with what. So let me see uh, how many of you can answer it. I am waiting for your answers guys. What is the right answer to this question? So the right answer to this question is actually Shakti of what? Actually it is talking about women empowerment. Women empowerment. So now apply the logic and you will reach to the conclusion. The right answer is D. Ministry of Women Child Development is the right answer. Aditi Omer, Divanshu, Kesha, Vasmita, you all are right. Okay. So D is the right answer. Yes, Prakhar, Kajal, you all are right. Uh, the next one is question number 18, which says, which government has launched a single-use plastic buyback scheme? It means the government will be buying, taking it back, okay? So that the single-use plastic in the market or in the, I can say, should be reduced, right? To inculcate a habit among youngsters towards environment conservation. Which state government has launched this scheme? Anyone? Yes, the right answer to this question is D. Himachal Pradesh is the right answer. Arya, Suraj, Bhageshwari, Asmita, Alifia, Hari, Omavad, you all are right. So, Himachal Pradesh government to start buying single-use plastic items from school students. Yes, so from school students, it will be buying it back. Yes, that is the idea about it. This is uh, June this year's article, right? So, D is the right answer to this question. Uh, let's move on to the next one. That is question number 19, which says Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program has been extended by which year? 2025, 26, 2026, 27, 2024, 2025, 2023, 2024. What is the right answer to this question? Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program extended by which year? Waiting for your answers. Yes, the right answer to this question is A, 2025, 20, 2026 is the right answer to this question. So, it has been extended by till 2025, 20, 26 fiscal year. Okay, A is the right answer. Yes, Nanshi, Prakhar, Bhageshri, Ajit, you all are right. Uh, the next one is question number 20. PLI scheme launched in 2020 is currently spread across how many sectors? 13, 14, 15, 16. What is the right answer to this question? Production linked incentive production linked incentive scheme okay launched in 2020 is currently spread across how many sectors waiting for your answers go and find out what is pli scheme why what is its importance uh, go and find out yes the right answer is b 14 sector is the right answer to this question hariyo mabad is right very good nanshi agnihotri you are also right so b is the right answer to this question. Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number 21, which says, under which program the National Commission for Women provides leadership skill to women political leaders? Your options are, she is the change maker, women are better, she is unstoppable, no one can beat her. What is the right answer to this question? Everyone, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel. Everyone, yes, press the like button, subscribe to our channel. What is the right answer? women political leaders so to promote women politician so the right answer is a yes she is a change maker good correct hariyom kajal you all are right uh, national commission for women launches pan india capacity building program she is a change maker yes and you can see it here for women in politics 
okay this is last year's december news so just have an idea about it okay uh, the next one is question number 22 how many questions yes still many questions are left attempt it try it and attempt it fast yes the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship msde has launched pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana again i have told you kaushal vikas yojana is related with skill development to empower india's youth with employable skill this scheme was launched in which year 2015 16 17 18 uh, the right answer is a 2015 is the right answer to this question yes asmita sanskriti hari om Ashwani Yadav, Divanshu, Sonal, you all are right. Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, yes, National Skill Development Corp, uh, Counts Corporation, Skill Management and Accreditation of Training Centers, these are the things. So basically, it is related with that Skill India Mission, you know, Skill India Mission to provide skills to people, right? So under Skill India Mission, this is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, okay? So A is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number 23. So, question number 23 says, by which year the Prime Minister Swanidhi scheme has been extended under which subsidized and collateral free loans are provided to COVID hit street vendors in urban areas? Your options are March 2023, December 2024, October 2024, April 2023. What is the right answer to this question? Okay. Uh, can anyone tell me what is the main idea of PM Swanidhi? Although I have explained, but still I am expecting Swanidhi scheme. Collateral free loan, you understand? Uh, so without having giving any collateral. So street vendors, those who sell vegetables, road per vegetables, fruits, etc. Jo log sabzi, phals, road pe Unko street vendors kehte hai. we call them as street vendors. So because they got hit because of COVID-19, etc., uh, they will be getting collateral free loans. And this has been extended till December 2024. Uh, you can see it here. PM uh, Padhan Mantri Street Vendors Atnirbar Nidhi, a special micro credit facility for street vendors. Uh, you can see street vendors is a chai banare, sabzi phal hai, hai na? then vegetable selling, etc., and all different things. So B is the right answer. Yes, loans to street vendors without collateral. Good, Snehal Bajpayee, right. Uh, the next one is question number 24. And question number 24 says, how many years have been completed for a Swamitva scheme with improvised technology in village areas? Five years, three years, two years, one years. What is the right answer to this question? Achha, Swamitva scheme, kya is related? Hai? What is it related with? Which technology will be used under Swamitva scheme? Anyone? Yes, Swamitva scheme is for drone mapping. With the help of drone mapping of land and a digitalization of land records uh, would be in the process. And of course, drones will help you map the land that this land belongs to this person and all. Right? That is the very idea about it. So it has completed two years. So C is the right answer to this question. Uh, so just remember it. C is the right answer. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. That is question number 25, which says, what is the maximum tenure or to repay the loans with a maximum moratorium period of 18 months under Stand Up India scheme? Your options are 5 years, 6 years, 7 years, 8 years. What is the right answer to this question? Stand Up India scheme, like Startup India, we are having something called as a Stand Up India. So can anyone tell me what is the difference? I mean, what is the Stand Up India scheme? Anyone? I'm waiting for your answers, guys. Everyone. Yes, drone mapping. Kuch ne likha tha, Sri Chandra Smita, you all were right. What is the idea of Stand Up India scheme? Anyone? Yes, the right answer is C, seven years. Maximum tenure to repay the loans is seven years. The Stand Up India is to promote a startup for women and scheduled caste, scheduled drive. That is the very idea about it. Okay. So that is the idea of Stand Up India scheme. It is different from Start Up India a little bit. It is specifically to promote entrepreneurship, that is business for women, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe 
community okay so the right answer is c is the right answer to this question okay yes preacher uh, prakar you all are right let's move on to the next one that is question number 26 so question number 26 says which scheme of ugc that is university grant commission is related to e learning your options are sakhi diksha disha swam what is the right answer to this question so basically we are talking about e education so the government also has come up with the idea of e education so which scheme of ugc is related with e education everyone please press the like button share this video subscribe to our channel yes what is the right answer Yes, the right answer is D. Swam is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, it's Swam actually. So let me show you here. Taken. Uh, yes, uh, Swam uh, is uh, actually a website. If you go, just Google search it. Swam e-learning e-education. You will get that. Video. Take it. You will get that website for student. Huh? So yes, uh, one more thing is I hope you are aware. But let me tell you again. At 9 p.m. we are running our free crash course on our YouTube channel for uh, ALET on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and for CLAT, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Okay, at 9 p.m. Please subscribe to our channel for that. And yes, uh, join our paid courses, 45 plus mocks, 20 CLAT, 25 non-CLAT test, 9000 plus practice questions will be there, test series curated by NADU alumni, etc. So yes, uh, download the Baidu's exam prep app where you will get this mock test. Okay, uh, the next is question number 27, which says in April 2022, Airport Authority of India launched a sir to encourage talent of women artists, craftsmen and provide them with right opportunities. What is the full form of avsar? Abhi thoda der pehle maine bataya bhi. What is the full form of avsar? Anyone please press the like button. Yes. Okay. What is the full form guys? Avsar ka full form kya hai? Yes, the right answer is D, airport as venue for a skilled artisan of the region. D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, the next one is question number 28, which says on, 20, uh, on 8th April 2022, Pardhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, which was formed to grant loans to non-corporate, non-farm, small or micro enterprises completed 7 years. Okay, what percentage of total loan has been sanctioned to women entrepreneur? So under PM Mudra Yojana actually is to provide loans to MSMEs, right? Micro, small, medium enterprise, the small level of industries ke liye, loan provide to provide loan PM Mudra Yojana has been launched. How much percentage of loan would be dispersed for women entrepreneurs? Okay, the right answer is B, 68% is the right answer to this question okay uh, yes you can see it here Pardhan Mantri Mudra Yojana launched by Honorable PM on 8th April 2015 providing loans up to 10 lakh non-corporate non-farmers etc and all yes uh, the next one is question number 29 which says in 2019 government of India launched a scheme of Pardhan Mantri Laghu Vyapari Manthan Yojana for which age group 18 to 45 18 to 60 18 to 50 18 to 40 years what is the right answer guys yes every question is related with the schemes because we, this class is about all about government schemes yes the right answer is d 18 to 40 years pardhan mantri laghu vyapari mandhan yojana yes go and find out so this is actually to promote uh, businessman small level and laghu vyapari vyapari means business and all hai na? so d is the right answer okay Okay, the next one is question number 30 and question number 30 says the pension fund to be managed as an equal amount under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Mandhan Yojana by which organization? Okay, so there is a PM Kisan Mandhan Yojana. So pension fund of that under that scheme will be managed by which organization? And these are your options. Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. See, even if you are answering wrong, no problem. Here you have to learn rather than to answer it correctly. Your main aim should be to learn. Okay. Yes. Uh, the right answer is LIC, guys. Life Insurance Corporation of India is the right answer to this question. Okay. Pardhan Mantri Kisan Mandhan Yojana. Okay. 
in partnership with LIC, Life Insurance Corporation of India. ठीक है, so go and read about Pradhan Mantri Kisan Mandhan Yojana. ठीक है, so C is the right answer. Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number 31, which says to eradicate untouchability in Gram Panchayats, which state will launch Vinaya Samarasya scheme on April 14 on Ambedkar Jayanti? Your options are Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh. What is the right answer to this question? Nay, scheme launch okay, correct, but they ask questions from scheme which has been launched. So that is why I am saying hai na? to eradicate untouchability on Ambedkar's Jayanti on April 14. Uh, the Karnataka government has launched this scheme. Yes, Vinaya Samarasya in Karnataka. Yes, this is 29th March news. Theke? So the right answer is B is the right answer to this question. Theke na? Preacher, you all are right. Nancy Agniotri, you all are right. Uh, the next one is question number 32, which says Pradhan Mantri Mats Sampada Yojana was launched in which year? 2015, 2017, 2019, 2020. Mats Sampada, Mats means muchly, fish, fish production scheme, right? So this is to promote fisheries, fishery production. Okay, yes, the right answer to this question is D. Uh, 2020 is the right answer to this question. Okay. So, yes, Pradhan Mantri Mats Sampada Yojana to reduce infrastructure gap in fisheries. So, that is what the idea is. Yes, the next one is question number 33, which says, in which year Pradhan Mantri Gharib Kalyan An Yojana, this is very, very important, star market, was implemented. Uh, which has been recently extended for uh, you can see six months and april uh, in fact it is up to december right and uh, up to december and it was i think up to september last september but now it is up to uh, extended up to december last so you have to tell me that pardhan mantri kharib kalyan i hope you are aware 80 crore for food distribution and all under national food security act so that is what pardhan mantri kharib kalyan anyojana is all about Launched when? Apply the logic. Yes. When the first lockdown happened, COVID. Yes. The first lockdown, somewhere on March, April. Eh, na? So you can remember it is the right answer to this question. Yes, due to COVID. Yes, Hariyom Abad, right? Eh, na? Abhi September, when you use that, it has extended for three more months. That is by December this year. Thik hai? Thik hai? Uh, the next is question number 34. Pardhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana was launched in which year? Whenever you use this word Bima, it's related with insurance right? if you know hindi you can answer it right? so here we are talking about in which year it was launched what is the right answer everyone please press the like button share the video subscribe to our channel what is the right answer yes uh, the right answer to this question is c 2014 it was launched pardhan mantri suraksha bima yojana so it is 2015 yes khushi sony is right harshita hariyom abad preacher you all are right, right? Prime Minister's safety insurance scheme. It is actually accident insurance scheme. If God forbid someone meets with an accident, then there is an, you can say, accident insurance scheme. Take it. Launched by late Arun Jaitley. Okay. Yes, 9th May 2015. Uh, the next is, which of the following ministry has launched Uran scheme? These are your options. And uh, uh, you can say the answer is on the, your screen. You just have to answer it. So, photo me likha bhi, you can see it here. Ure desh ka aam nagarik. So, here is aeroplane is made. Now, answer the question. It's very easy. You can see it here. Ure desh ka aam nagarik. Yes, you can see it here. Okay, yes. Yes, of course, Ministry of Civil Aviation. Who is the Minister of Civil Aviation? Name the Minister. Yes, the right answer is A. It is related with Civil Aviation Ministry. A is the right answer. Yes. Ajit Kumar, Sita Kumari, Rati, you all are right. Hai na? It's related to the aeroplane, of course. So, the civil aviation minister is Mr. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. So, A is the right answer here. Uh, the next one is question number 36, which says, Pradhan Mantri Bharati Jan Aushadhi Pariyojana was launched in which year? 2006, 2008, 2010, 2012. What is the right answer? Yes, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is the right answer. People have answered that uh, civil aviation minister of India. Correct. Huh? Pardhan Mantri 
भारतीय जन औषधि परियोजना लॉन्च इन विच ईयर टू प्रोवाइड जन औषधि औषधि मीन्स इन हिंदी वी कॉल इट एज मेडिसिन दवा है ना सो इट इज टू प्रोवाइड मेडिसिन सो चीपर मेडिसिन है ना दैट इज वॉट द आइडिया इज है ना सस्ता में मेडिसिन uh, प्रोवाइड करना यस द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी टू थाउजेंड एट इज द राइट आंसर प्रीचर यू ऑल राइट बी इज द राइट आंसर ओके द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन अंडर विच स्कीम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च डोर स्टेप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ड्राइव मेरी पॉलिसी मेरे हाथ योर ऑप्शन आर प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा योजना लाइफ कवर अंडर प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन मेरी पॉलिसी मेरे हाथ स्कीम वॉट इज द राइट आंसर एनी वन सो बेसिकली इट इज अंडर प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना एक्चुअली इट इज रिलेटेड विद क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस स्कीम है ना फसल बीमा मीन्स क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस स्कीम ओके सो मेरी पॉलिसी मेरे हाथ इज अंडर दिस द सेम प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना सो इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया यस Uh, let's move on to the next one. The government has approved Rashtriya Uchhtar Shiksha Abhiyan for continuation till 2024, 2025, 2026, 2028. What is the right answer? This scheme is related with promotion of higher education, right? है ना? Uchhtar Shiksha, I think high high school education and all है ना? Till what year? What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is C. To, till 2026. ठीक है राष्ट्रीय राष्ट्रीय उच्चतर शिक्षा अभियान कंटिन्यू टेन ट्वेंटी द राइट आंसर काजल यू आर राइट ओके द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन विच सी इज वॉट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी हैज टू बी पेड टू ऑल एज एलिजिबल फैमिली बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अंडर प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि सो दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल इट एज पी किसान योजना सो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पी किसान इज प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि Your options are four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, eight thousand. What should be the amount that needs to be paid? What is the right answer? Waiting for your answers. This is very, very important. PM Kisan Yojana is very important. Okay, so you should be knowing it. Yes, the right answer is C, six thousand. Yes, correct. Hariyo, Mayush, Nancy, Nivedita. I hope you are aware. Actually, two thousand three installment. Me two thousand. करके three installment में है ना? It is given like this. Two thousand, then two thousand, then two thousand. Right? So C is the right answer to this question. Six thousand in one year. Okay. Yes. I hope you are aware. Pradhan Madhuri Kisan Samman Nidhi, launched by Agricultural Ministry. Uh, the next one is question number forty, which says Manrega Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act was started in which year? So this is provides legal guarantee, legal right to work, legal right to work. This was started in which year? 2009, 2006, 2011, 2020. What is the right answer to this question? Can anyone tell me? Yes, the right answer is B. 2006 is the right answer. Hoshi, Sony, Sonal, Hariyom, Devanshu, Shreya, Harshita, Nanshi, Aditi, you all are right. B is the right answer to this question. Okay. Right to work. This was act was passed on 23rd August 2005 during the Prime Ministership of Manmohan Singh. Okay. Yes, so the uh, right answer is B is the right answer to this. Yes, Sudhir Mishra, B S Yadav, Alifia, Yusuf Ali, you all are right. Okay, so uh, this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Baidu's exam prep app. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.